Hi, I'm Rob Word, and today I'm at the Joel and Francis McRae Ranch for a tribute to honor Johnny Crawford. You've heard about Johnny's battle with Alzheimer's. This event is to raise money for Johnny's housing expenses and his medical care. For the movie, Bill Tillman and the Outlaws, Johnny shot a scene as silent screen legend William S. Hart two years ago. Several of the movie's cast members are attending a special screening tonight, all in support of Johnny. There's also a silent auction of Johnny Crawford memorabilia. It's part of raising funds for Johnny to assist him in his battle with Alzheimer's. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see information about Johnny's GoFundMe page. The actual link is in the description area of this YouTube video. Go to it now and help him. He's helped us over the years with some great entertainment and performances like his Emmy-nominated role as Mark McCain on The Rifleman. Johnny, we're here for you. Hi. So, Charlotte and Johnny, you're having a wonderful tribute tonight to Johnny. How did this come about? It's because I have these wonderful friends that decided that they needed to do a tribute to Johnny because of all of the wonderful things he's done in life. And he's done a lot. Yeah. yeah. You're still doing it. I'm still doing it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That's right. That's scatting. He was scatting. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you're a singer. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know how yeah. it started, don't you? Yeah. How they forgot the words. <laughs> it's time to scat. Be my little baby bumblebee. Buzz around, buzz around, keep it buzzing around. Bring home all the honey love to me. Little bee, little bee, little bumblebee. Let me spend the happy hours roving with you amongst the flowers. And when we get to where no one else can see. that from Bing Crosby? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there was a limit to a hundred people who could come tonight. How many are coming? One hundred. <laughs> it's amazing. So I'm I'm thrilled. We're we're gonna play some of your music too later tonight, Johnny. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> In this last year he came down ill and uh, and then started not being able to finish a sentence or an idea and was easily confused and it was anguishing uh, and stunning. What's stunning is that John can't communicate back. I, th I talk to him, I think he receives a lot of what people are saying to him. He's very responsive, engaged to people that come up and talk with him, but he tries to start an idea and can't finish it. We started doing the festival circuit together many years ago and I got to know Johnny and you know had the opportunity to, to uh, sit down with him on many occasions and have some heart to hearts and, and uh, you know I was just happy to be able to supply the venue for tonight and, and be able to support him in whatever way we possibly could. So this was my grandfather's ranch. My grandfather was Joel McRae who was an actor uh, during the golden age of Hollywood and he put this ranch together back in 1933 and uh, what's left of it we've turned over to our local park district so that it will remain in is open space and we have a visitor center here and we show movies which is what we're doing tonight showing uh, the last movie Johnny was in Bill Tillman and the Outlaws so we're we're happy to do that and happy to be able to share a little of the history here and bring out a crowd that loves Johnny and loves the Western so it's uh, we're killing two birds with one stone tonight we're here with the hostess Lisa McRae and Don Collier from High Chaparral the Outlaws and much much more and they're here for Johnny Crawford you bet. well old, uh, Johnny's an old pal uh, I'm just taking a death to see this big crowd for him. It's nice. It's going to be a nice evening. We've got people that wanted to come that couldn't make it, so everybody loves Johnny. He's a great guy. We did the second gambler movie together. What's going on there? I'll just do a little business. So you're pretty good with that rope. Would you be looking for a job? Well, maybe. What doing? Suppose you've heard of Charlie McCourt. That's a $100,000 reward from McCourt and his gang. Even split. Got yourself another man. Uh, and of course, Johnny, renowned with a lariat in his hand, um, was a hell of a roper. He always was because he grew up doing those uh, rodeos during the rifleman years, if you don't know that. He's a, he's a very special guy. And of course, Mark McCain, I mean, we, we all remember 
the Rifleman, and I think that series is, as we were boys growing up, it was one of the best series ever for young kids. You bet, Mr. Stafford. Best for North Fork and worst for Center City. <laughs> As you know, he's a, a hell of a musician, and um, he loved the music of the 20s, 30s, especially those kind of bands that played then. For my 47th birthday at a place called Moonlight Tango, now, I guess he played there all the time, and he played that whole evening. It was just wonderful. Every time I get a little bit older, and I'm now 81, I start thinking about all the knowledge that I've accumulated and think how horrible it would be to lose that faculty. And with Johnny Crawford, who's a singer that knows, and 50, 75, 100 songs, can you imagine the difficulty that he feels when he feels the music, but he can't find the lyric? It's a tragedy. Well, once again, I wanted to be able to do something for Johnny, and I, you know, I didn't. He has a GoFundMe account, which is great, and God bless everybody that's doing that. And also, we had this movie together, and I know this is probably Johnny's last cameo that he'll get to do. And the McCrays, I mean, look at this beautiful ranch, a beautiful night, and it just kind of came together in my mind that this might be a great thing. We could have a lot of fun and, and raise some money and and have a good time in the in the process. Johnny, I think, came on board through Darby, and Darby has been a huge asset, and um, he was also major, he played a major role in, uh, in casting. And Johnny came out, and he was so great to work with. I mean, he still rides a horse like he's like 18 years old, and he's still doing his lasso tricks like no other. Thank you, Mr. Salem. You know I love the art of making pictures. I discovered his Alzheimer's, um, I'd say about six months ago, six to seven months ago. You know, it, it's kind of sad because it also hits my family. My mother's coming down with dementia. So it's all within the relative family. And then Darby was telling me about this, this wonderful fundraiser and this big event. And they're just showing our film, Bill Tillman and the Outlaws. So um, we're all happy to be here, you know, to support Johnny. I'm a team roper. Johnny's a team roper, okay? And at about six or seven of the rodeos we went to, and these were all for, for charity, all right? Johnny would forget his rope. And he'd say, Stan, let me borrow your rope. Sure. And he'd win. And I said, that's it, Johnny, no more. You're not borrowing my rope anymore. I don't care if you do it with a shoestring. You're not using my rope anymore. I cannot go through the thank yous to pull this evening off. If I did, we'd be here way too long. You know, I've had a lot of people come up to me and I say, oh, thank you for doing this thing. No, thank you. Hollywood this day, these days sometimes gets a lot of bad press. I cannot tell you how touched I have been putting this together and seeing the love that has come out for you, Johnny, people that not only are here that have traveled far distances and, and come, but people that couldn't be here and still wanted to support this evening. Thank you for coming, Johnny. We love you, buddy. Thank you for being with us. The Johnny Crawford fundraiser tonight was a success but Johnny's fight with Alzheimer's continues. As we look at Johnny's career over the past 65 years, please follow the link in the description to the GoFundMe page that benefits Johnny. Johnny, his family, and his friends, thank you.